my aquaponics journey welcome to fish keep in jamaica welcome to this channel it's hope that uh, you will appreciate this video as i do an introductory video for my aquaponics uh, series okay hi everybody welcome to another episode of fish keep in jamaica welcome to my channel my name is rally and this is my channel and i do fish keeping both ornamental fish keeping and full fish fish keeping uh of late right okay so you i know you have enjoyed uh my last series on tilapia food fish right everything about tilapia and there are several other videos in store regarding tilapia however for now i give you a break with regards to tilapia and i head over into aquaponics all right so uh stay with me as i share with you the introductory video where i look at you know sourcing some critical components of this setup okay so stay okay okay so aquaponics is a system wherein which there's a symbiotic relationship uh, between uh fish uh normally it's tilapia it can be trout and it also can be salmon it also can be other type of fish right number one uh factor that should be considered is whether or not uh your the fish is able to produce enough waste so as to sustain uh the plants that or should i say the vegetable or the food items that you intend to actually cultivate all right so i have my tilapia pan here and in this tilapia pan i have roughly about roughly roughly about probably about nearly two thousand not 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 quite two dozen but nearly two thousand have actually um harvested about probably about eight or, or nine recently so therefore um they all right so we're talking about aquaponics right and how does it work right why do aquaponics now i share a video uh recently where i speak about uh some worm that exists well should i say earthworm that came from my uh my bucket filter right uh placed over there in my yard just like how this one was placed and um some earthworms actually went in there and they actually started to make a home right i don't know if any is in here right now but it was here for a while right now the earthworms actually went into uh the pond well the pond filter and actually started to lay and gave me a lot of earthworms right a lot of nutrients was into that box right why does us what what does this have to do with aquaponics i want to see aquaponics okay i'm coming to that all right so uh fish stock produce a lot of waste and this waste is filtered and the filter box is cleaned and replay and, and you know the the the, the 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 media is actually replaced and you know it's it's just a routine um when i schedule it is like probably about every two weeks now yes but before it was like every four weeks right okay so all of that waste is actually washed in the yard and my fruit trees right this is my sour sap right sour sap tree is a sour sap right and that's my cherry and aki guinep right and you have some other trees in my yard um they will actually get the nutrients that actually comes from the water right here they're coming out now that actually comes from the water that um comes from my throat all right i i i, I think this video might be a little bit lengthy but i want you to bear with me a little bit this is the introduction phase to my aquaponics uh um series of videos all right so in aquaponics what we are going to be doing uh what persons have actually done over the years is to actually harness the nutrients that comes from um the fish pond right and make it the, 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 the nutrients usable in a uh, planter bed now i i i, I have about uh, six stoats in my yard right normally for planter beds what you would do you would get like probably about two or three totes white totes like this and you cut them about probably about uh 
about here, about one and a half feet. Uh, some persons might say um, one feet in height, right? And they would actually use as planter beds. And what does this planter bed? Planter bed does is that you actually place uh, soil in it, and you put well, not really soil. You place a media in it. It can be stone, it can be gravel, it can be specialized um, media, right? And you actually pl um, plant crops in it, and the water actually. Just as how you see this water coming from the pond, this water would actually go into the planter bed. You would go through the media. The plant will actually um, collect some of the nutrients from it, right? And uh, yeah, practically collect all the nutrients from it, right? And then now uh, the water would be, what I call it now, cleansed or yes, uh, filtered as a result of the plant actually using the nutrients and the water actually will return so it wouldn't be like the nutrients wouldn't be like stored up one place for me to actually empty it and and clean it will be used by the plant okay so because my my um acquisition of totes is kind of limited right i won't be getting any totes to be used as my planter bed instead i'll be using these half cut drums as my planter beds i had prepared them years ago for this um but i did not go through with it because i just lost interest right but for this series i'll be using i think i'll be using two as a planter bed right where the holes are already cut and you'll see me piping up everything and the water will actually flow and the media will be in here and everything will be flowing okay right in addition to planter beds i will also need a pump to actually have the water be taken up from the pond to the planter bed i would need plant arm um, i would need media right um should i say bed matting or bedding right for the planter bed and i also need fish now, because I have the tilapia fish and they are, you know, they are really producing a lot of waste, I decided that I am not going to harvest um, all of them. I left some uh, for the main purpose of um, using, you know, using that to, using the fish so as to catapult the, the whole system, you know, get the system up and running, right? So, as... As they get larger I would have to consume them or have to harvest them but I also have some fries right and I've shared with you the fries in which I've actually harvested um, from this pond and um, those fries now would replace the the large um, tilapia that exists within this pond right now so over time it will be a sequential um, event where in which um, you know fries would actually grow up to be juveniles and juveniles go up to be adults and the adults that was in it would be actually used so as to you know make space for the juvenile coming up right now i'll be going through several different phases one of the phases is to actually pipe up my system all right get the filter system up and running and actually installing the planter bed so that the water can actually flow through and you know I call it direct the water or channel the water or grade the water to a particular height so that my, my, my plant my plant seeds whether it be pepper tomato whatever will not actually um rot in the water so i'm gonna have to do all of that and you will see that in your course in addition to that right i'm gonna have to build a table to actually um be able to manage the planter bed on the top of the the tote right i'm gonna have to be looking into the pond sometime sometime i'm gonna have to be collecting um fries sometime i'm gonna have to do water change so therefore i'm gonna have to have a retractable table in which i can move um from the from the tote over the tote on a regular basis so all that you will see in the in in, in the videos to come right it is an ongoing process so it it, it is expected that you will find it intriguing and you yourself probably might even try it right in addition to the planter bed the piping the, the um the whole idea of the fish is there already right the whole idea of of planting the the, the seedlings um managing the seedlings um ensuring that the sunlight is not too much for it 
um you know fixing it up to the extent in which i can actually harvest in a few weeks time um all of that will actually be be shared with you during the course of this series this series promise promises to be one in which um you can actually ask your question you can hit me up on instagram and i will try my very best to assist you in whatever way possible but for now um my fish is there and um they have been saved by the aquaponics um you know series so the large ones will be there for a bit right it is hope that this video gives you a heads up as to what's to come i appreciate you watching right stay tuned it promises to be interesting oh and don't forget to like share and subscribe so you can see whenever the videos do come up or do um it's published so that you can actually join and you can be the first to comment in addition to what was mentioned before right during the series i also take you to the space in which i'll be getting um some of these equipment like my pump and my media and um you know everything that you know the, the fittings i'll be taking into the different places in which i'll be getting all that so it, it promises to be really exciting and good stay tuned for that peace out